Today's Shir, Erev Tisha B'Av, is dedicated as a schos for the release of our dear friend, Shalom Ben Chana, who is currently in prison in Malaysia. Our thoughts are with him, our tefillahs are with him, and the schos of the Torah that's being learned and the chizat being given should be a schos for his quick release from prison. Shalom Ben Chana, Be'ezah Hashem, we're hoping for big Yeshua's. Today is Erev Tisha B'Av. Erev Tisha B'Av is a time that we have to remember we're about to mourn the Chorban Beis HaMikdash. We're about to sit on the floor. We're about to remember that which we don't have. And it's a very, very important day. We'll speak a little bit more about it tomorrow. But there's halachas of Erev Tisha B'Av. And they go like this. Number one, we don't say Tachanun today on Erev Tisha B'Av by Mincha. Why? Because at the end of the day, Chazal call it a Moyet, Yontif. Tisha B'Av is a Yontif and we hope that one day, maybe even this year, it will be a real Yontif of Sosayim de Simcha. But even if it's not, it's still a Moyet. Why that is so is a different discussion, but we don't say Tachnan on Erev Tisha B'Av. There's a Locha as well brought down that a person should not go on trips, a person should not go on long walks, a person shouldn't be around too much on Erev Tisha B'Av, specifically from Chatzos onwards. There are those that say even before Chatzos, even the entire day, a person should not be running around and doing things. The halacha is, and this is also the minig, that we don't learn Torah from Chatzos of Erev Tisha B'Av onwards. So wherever you are in the world, wherever this finds you, look up Chatzos midday, that's where you're not allowed to learn Torah, except those things that you are actually allowed to learn on Tisha B'Av itself, whether it's Halachas of Tisha B'Av, whether it's Chizik of Tisha B'Av, whether it's Musa, and various other things that are geared to the actual day. Um, of course, if a person is being mavatal Torah and he's doing nothing and he's going to end up running around schmoozing, laughing and joking, then you know what? It's okay. Then you can learn whatever it is that you want to learn. But we do have to remember to go into the day with some kind of seriousness. It is a sad day, but it's a day that one can accomplish a tremendous, tremendous amount. In fact, Rabbi Yisrael Salanta, in his letters, and know Yisrael brings down that a person can accomplish on Tisha B'Av, no less than he can accomplish on the day of Yom HaKippurim. It all depends on our perspective, and all depends on our mindset. We have to remember, it's a day that we're meant to reflect what we're missing, not just the actual building of the Beis HaMikdash, the physical structure, but rather the connection with the Rabbi Yishalaylam. So that's the Allah Zubair of Tisha B'Av. There's of course a Sudam of Sekes, the Sudam that we eat right before of Tisha B'Av, which we're meant to sit on the floor, eat hard-boiled eggs, dipped into ash, and some bread, and not more than one tavshil. That's the halacha of the Suda Mavsekas itself. The Suda before that, which is the one that people fill up on, you can eat whatever you want, that's fine. Bench, have a little bit of a shinoi mokum, go out the house for a few minutes, come back inside, after a few minutes, give yourself some time, wash again, have rolls, sit on the floor, dip your egg into ashes, and just think about what, what we're meant to be missing, and what would be if we had a Beis HaMikdash. We should be Zoycha Beis HaShem. We're going into Tisha B'Av, we should be Zoycha to meet at some point during Tisha B'Av, by Yerushalayim, in front of the Beis HaMikdash, Shlishli, B'mhev Ramein Amen.